JC13, work for the king. If you don't know, you'll see. Pay me. What I wanted to talk about today is how in holiness, we're supposed to be as holy as God the Father. And also, in regard to those who have not gone out in faith to go ahead and become as holy as Christ or even holier, holier as God himself. I'll start with the latter. When a poor woman, according to Jesus, is a widow who puts in all the mites or all the bits or all what little money she has into the kingdom's treasury, which was the kingdom of Israel at a time, she had given more to God in their faith-based community than the people giving out of their abundance to the wealth largely because the culture was a culture of sacrifice to God and in regard to the spirit of justice it would be balanced in scales as we find that the he tre heavenly treasures of God would have a kingdom of spirit that could measure things like karma or value of sacrifice things that have gone in for hard work things that have gone in for losing out on things a reward given in secret to someone according to Jesus when you don't get repaid by that person would award public rewards from God now when a sinner or someone who is not justified or faithful and good does a good thing unto someone else saying something like hey may God bless you here's one of the skills that I learned that got me to where I'm at and I wanted to come out here and just do something good for you and give you this paperwork to detail what you got to do to uplift yourself out of this poverty. I've done these such skills before and if you just sit with an hour, I'll be able to put you exactly where I was a few years ago and I've done a lot more. If they give that little bit of contact info and they train that person so that they can uplift themselves They've given out far much more in regard to, say, a rich, heavenly person who is spending all their time giving 10 times that much. Let's say the number is 20 for the value of something like that. When your heavenly treasure is not as great as somebody handing out 10 times 20s daily, and you've just handed out 120, in regard to the justice of your soul and the balance, God, spirit of love, is being poured so much more. Like the angels are rejoicing over the fact that you've done one righteous thing. And it counts so much more towards your debt to God. Where these other people, such as myself, who are always doing what is right all the time, are already in the positive credit with God. It's a good thing to rejoice that you're getting your debt out of there. Now, that we've taken that into account and remembering the sinner who beats on his chest and is justified for saying, I am a sinner, while the righteous man is saying, thank you God that I'm not like these people, and he is not justified. With the holy man, and being as holy as God, and I'll give you a physical example here, God's name was held to be holy, and they called it the tetragrammation in Judaic religion and culture where it was of four letters. On me, I was born with these four marks to remind me what God wanted to do with us. And Revelation refers to somebody coming being known as the Word of God that would have a mark upon his leg of the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. So this does not look exactly like the Tetragrammation which is written in the Hebrew human language. God himself, through the revelation of Jesus and the anointment of the sons of God, had said that we should be as holy as God. And to enter the kingdom of heaven, we should be holier, have to be holier than the scribes and Pharisees or religious leaders and spiritual writers. So how can one do this? Blessed are the pure, for they shall see God, pure of heart. And pure is like one single element. Consider steel. 
which is a composite of multiple things put together, or silver, or gold, or copper. Silver, gold, and copper are all one element. They're pure in that way. They have no impurities. They have nothing else added to them to make them what they are. So being wholly one thing is purity. Being completely yourself, of your own make, self-created, self-creative. Those are marks of holiness. Much like the symbol on my leg is God's name. However, it is written in a way that is not human. Now, in a previous video of mine, I talked about creating worlds in the video to save mankind with your job. And that had derived from my seeking of holiness after seeing nature. The, we would see the plants, we would see the animals, and we would be able to take, take into ourselves what the environment could teach us and how to make something better than the environment. So I developed rundle squirms. I developed the Duroc. The rundle squirms were like a colorful plant that would grow up and light up with their pheromones, green, yellow, and red, based upon different natural occurrences. These plants are better than what I'd seen on Earth. And I looked out the biochemistry and everything for them because I was in school for biology and bioengineering and actually creating these genetically modified organisms of plants. So when you take something of your own make, you're being pure. When you're creating this spiritual realm around you, or even a physical realm of your own make, like engineering a cat litter box, one of my designs, the would have a spindle upon it, hit by a switch to turn a motor, and curling materials on it like zip ties. I'm going to tell you exactly what they are, but they're basically scoops and uh, like a vacuum of a sort. They would go off into a little tray connected to it. They would automatically scoop the cat litter. That is a pure and faithful design that you push one button to clean your cat litter and you don't have to be like the people in this world who are, how to say, metaphorically picking up that cat litter with their bare hands because they've never conceived the idea of using a pooper scooper. Yet, this analogy is in comparison to even you who use pooper scoopers in connection to what someone pure would make. Now, you can take into example the hair fibers grow, nose fibers grow, the worms are similar to snakes and these are similar to bacteria and see that you can take those and grow onto them what can come like those or from those or better than those and create it in your own holy spirit which is a spirit that lives inside of man's heart and mind. I'm not going to go too much into the Holy Spirit, but it develops a soundness of mind, fruitfulness, peace. And I'm not going to go into people blaspheming the Holy Spirit, because this does occur. If someone's talking to you with a voice in your head, and it's not reminding you of the holy way of Jesus Christ, or the things in this world that would be parallel to the actions that Christ would have us pursue, then that can very much be considered blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, while other spirits can draw you into a more productive and fruitful, holy way of life. And this goes in with discerning spirits. So, with this, you've had about 10 minutes of understanding the holiest of ways, and the justification of those of you who can do what is good with what little, and seeing how that one bit of a value of 20 in heavenly treasure can be so much more rejoicing for the Lord. Even with all the wicked people in the world, there is so much good and love coming from when just these wrong folks are doing little acts of kindness or even balancing themselves. And taking this into account, you want to make the whole tree good.